Oh, hello Sabre fans, uh, welcome to Four Sabres, my name's Ben, I make all the lightsabers and everything else that goes on. Um, so, there's been a few comments on a previous video, I think it was a video saying a big hi from me to everyone. Uh, one of the things that's been asked is how do you make things, or what is it that you do to, to make the sabres that I do. Um, I am going to look at see if I can do a video uh, for that, It's there's a lot of work that goes into a sabre. Uh, and they take a long time to make, so I, I don't know how easy it will be to to make a single video on the process of doing one. It might be a case that um, you know there might be multiple videos for that um, spread over the process of one handle. Uh, so, like the Sith Stalker, uh, just to do the three prongs on there takes about an hour just on the mill, uh, the hand mill that I have. Uh, so it takes a lot of work to, to get it done. I'm sure you don't want to sit there for an hour and just see this little mill bit going mm, ever so slowly creeping along a piece of metal. <laughs> so, but there is uh, there is something I can f uh, film for you, uh, which is going to be um, a chassis. So we uh, we have the Xenopixel lightsabers. Um, we do, I don't know why I say we, I, uh, I give you the option of having the access to the SD card so you can add and change your own sound fonts or make a few tweaks to the operating system. Um, so I thought I'd show you how to how I make these. Uh, it's not going to be actual oops, it's not going to be actual making of this. I'm actually going to show you how I, I how I pour the liquid and how that aspect works. So uh, if you will moan, I'm going to jump over to the the, the uh, workshop and you'll see how it does so hello class and welcome to today's lesson so today's lesson is we are going to be making one of the chassis that i use in the neopixel lightsabers this is what one of them looks like when it's come out of the mold uh, there's two parts to this one this houses the speaker uh, and that clips on to this part here and then that goes to the board and the battery powers the board so we have to make this mold to begin with um, there's also another type of one which is here and I'll just actually rearrange it so you can see this a bit better so this one here these ones these are just for the battery and speaker alone not a chassis but I'll show you both of them so the first thing we have to do you have to turn on my scales I use a liquid uh, a polyurethane liquid plastic uh, which sets very very hard it can be classed as a little brittle this particular version um, but it works really well and for the chassis it's all I need uh, it's a one-to-one -one ratio of liquid so uh, at this moment I'm doing 34 grams of part A and 34 grams of part B um, I use these little uh, I found using these little like ketchup bottles that you can buy on eBay uh, are the best things you can do a very easy very controlled pour with that and make sure that you get the exact amount of both part A and part B we then give that a quick stir to mix it all together uh, this particular polyurethane liquid plastic it actually has a, uh, a very slow set time so you, what that means is you are able to work with this for around uh, five to ten minutes before it starts uh, its thermal reaction. Uh, so I pour this in here. It's around 30 grams for one of these. It's quite expensive stuff to, uh, to do this. Uh, but because this is a very much more liquidy uh, based polyurethane liquid plastic it does allow very well towards um, pouring very small or very thin parts I do use other liquid plastics for other particular types of um, objects or parts that I may need um, the other one I use is a lot stronger uh, has a lot of strength in it um, And uh, it's it's very good for prototyping different things. So like the ribs on the Darth Vader lightsaber handle 
or the Luke Skywalker handle will be used. I will use another polyurethane Luca plastic for that. So this isn't. I'm not doing this as a, an entire full pour. This is just a quick pour, just to show you how it works. Really, sorry that this is in the way of your view. So there we are. So these are all now poured. It doesn't matter about this. What happens is when I take these out, they they sol uh, they go rock hard. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll take these out and I'll sand these down on a belt sander. Um, I clean this up. They don't they don't always come out perfect. There is a little bit of work that needs to be done on them. Uh, as you can see here, there's a bit of uh, I suppose flashing or excess. Uh, what I'll do is actually take the sand this down, take it off. I'll sand around the edges to make it nice and smooth. Um, but that's basically the first stage. So this has now been poured. Uh, this will take around five hours uh, for it all to be set and be work uh, ready to be taken out of the moulds. So I'll come back in. Well, I'll come back in five hours. But to you, it'll be a few seconds. So see you in a moment. Hi there, so it's been quite some time for me, uh, but uh, let's get these out of the way actually because we don't need that now. Uh, it's been some time for me, it's been about five hours. Uh, come back and these are all now set. So what I'll do is I'll take this one out first. And you can see it's, it's fairly straightforward. It's fairly easy how I do this. Um, and that's it, it's out of the mould. And we now have a new SD card chassis. It, obviously you can see it needs a little bit of tidying up. There's a few little bits and pieces on there that need to be uh, sanded off and smoothed off before it gets used. So that's the first part. That houses the, the battery like I said which goes in here and it hold, put the SD card goes there uh, and this is where you'll find the master reset switch. Uh, this is for the speaker so we'll just take that out. So that's actually not a bad pour. Um, still need to give that sand down, sand around there, uh, just clear up that hole. Uh, but then that will just clip into there. Well, not clip, but it sits in there. And uh, there you have an SD card chassis. So like I said, it took about uh, one to two weeks to actually make this particular sashi. Um, I can't say that word very well. It took about uh, two weeks to create this and make this and get these master molds. Um, and it uh, it was quite a lot of fun doing it, uh, but that's that's what it looks like. So I'll see you back in the. Oh, sorry. Before I go, uh, these are the for the um, the uh, battery and speaker cases that we use that I use. So I'll just I'll get this one out actually because that looks quite nice. That's got quite a lot of uh, runoff. So again, that'll be sanded down. The hole will be cleared up, and that'll be smoothed down the edges. What will happen is I put a grill over here, then the speaker will go in. This will go over that. Uh, the speaker wire will come out and the battery will go straight inside, sit on top of the speaker, and then that gets all put inside its protective coating. And uh, that's how the, the normal uh, speaker and battery units or battery, uh, battery pack are, are made. So, yeah. I hope you found that interesting. I'll see you back at, the, uh, at my desk. Uh, so there it is. That's how I uh, how I pour the the liquid for the um, for the chassis. Uh, the liquid is quite expensive. Uh, it comes in uh, like two liter. Well, it comes in five hundred grams, one liter, uh, one liter, two hundred liters, um, and I think two hundred liters is about one hundred and fifty pounds for that. So it, it does. You do. I do go through that liquid very quickly, especially for a chassis. This. I think it's around 30 grams so yeah it's uh, it's quite expensive uh, the mold that you saw uh, that was around about four or five hundred pounds something like that but to get to that particular mold it cost because uh, I had to do previous molds for different parts uh, and refine it to the, the point where I was happy 
Uh, so it does, it is quite expensive to make them. Um, but I hope you like the video. I will try and get more videos like that to you in the future. And also I'll be doing more videos. Uh, but basically, you know, when I finish a lightsaber for a customer and it's all installed, or if I've got a hill that's ready for install, I really think, oh, that looks really nice. I'll get a video done, I'll bob it up so you get to see it. But uh, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you on um, uh, another um, episode, channel, program. I'll see you again soon. See ya.